Claw, realistically, what are our chances of killing the Black Panther? Pretty good, considering I've already killed one. This is a crime that was committed over a decade ago. The trail is ice cold. Who benefits from my father's death? Who didn't? Oil companies, pharmaceutical companies, technology firms. All of them would benefit from a destabilized Wakanda. You don't need to look for them. They will find you. Okay, okay, Flesh. Settle down. Now, what do we call this place? The Great Mound. Correct. And what do we get from the Great Mound? Vibranium. And what does vibranium do? It uh, absorbs vibrations. Very good. And why is that useful? Watch out, boys. I'm about to bring the whole place down with this swing. What the hell did you just do, boy? What's going on, Miss Ambuye? I have no idea. It's an earthquake! Run! Children, grab the rail! wavelength of this piece of metal you gave me, then reached out and found a large collection of it nearby. Then I played with it. Just a little bit. This was the best field trip ever! Whee! Well, at least nobody died. The kids got a little bound up, but they are okay. And what about the miners? No major injuries. It's a miracle, really. Are you the last man down there? Yes. If this mound is full of vibranium, how can we have an earthquake? As you know, Wakanda doesn't have any fault lines along its section of the tectonic plate. We're checking for major geological activity anywhere else that may have caused some kind of chain reaction. I have another theory. I think there's something wrong with our vibranium. Oh, Shuri. Two years of university, and now you're an expert. Please pardon my lack of tact, but yes, I'd like to investigate another possibility. I just need a small team of actual experts, thank you, to work with me down in the mine shaft. Out of the question! It's too dangerous. I'm not risking the lives of other men if there's another cave in. Case closed. T'Challa, why won't you consider my... Oh. Why isn't he at the hospital? He refused to leave until he could show his gratitude. Oh. Now children tell adults what to do. No, his parents told him what to do. Panther God, I... 
What is your name? Kishon. Kishon. I am a man. You're the Black Panther. Sacred god of our clan. When we moved to the city, I never dreamed that I would be blessed with your holy presence. God works through me the same as you. There is no feat I can achieve that you are not capable of. And that is why he is the Black, Black Panther. I know. He's been my brother my whole life. I'm just trying to do my part. Wakanda's non-interventionist policy would make it politically awkward to justify an invasion. But what if the U.S. had to settle a border dispute? Keep talking. Wakanda has had a long history of tension with its neighbor, Naganda. Their strongman leader, Mbutu, would certainly take advantage of any opportunity to overthrow the Wakandan government. Tell me more about this Mbutu, you said? Mbutu grew up in the kind of affluence that only complete access to the national treasury can afford. He learned politics at his father's knee. That is, when he wasn't skiing in Switzerland or partying at the Bain Boucher in Paris. When it came time for Mbutu to take control of his destiny, he did it the old-fashioned way. He overthrew his father. Mbutu was always good at making friends, starting with the United States. I get it. Business as usual. And I take it the Wakandans don't care for him. No, they don't. They think Mbutu is a pig. He is a pig. Yes, but he's our pig. And if you have any further criticisms, you can reach me during my office hours, which are... Um... Excuse me, sir. I'm Mr. Claw to see you. Claw! My friend. I take it the check cleared? Ah, yes. The National Treasury thanks you. To celebrate, I'm commissioning a large statue of myself for the Capitol building. I'm sure your citizens will appreciate that. Who needs food when you have art? We're about to launch our invasion. I just wanted to make sure your men are ready. <laughs> the Nigandan army is more than prepared to topple the Wakandans. I hope your general has become more comfortable with taking orders from our field commander. Of course not. But he doesn't want to end up here. Good enough. Oh, and one more thing. Do you have any plumbers to spare? Plumbers? Did I kill all the plumbers in my last purge? No, sir. That was the doctor's. Very good, then. Send Claw, our best plumber. Uh, perhaps second best. Someone a bit more disposable. No! No! Please don't! I take it back! Your Excellency, your three o'clock is here. Cannibal? Yes. This is Claw. Everything is a go. You should leave for New York immediately. A contact will meet you there and get you into the UN. Tell the Black Knight the troops will be arriving soon. Ugh. Nothing works in Africa. Nothing. Now and in the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> oh, what is it, Claw? I was wondering if you would say a few words to the troops before we started. It's your army. 
Yes, but as a man of the cloth, you would find the most inspirational words to put it all in context. Are you a man of faith, Claw? My mother took me to Sunday Mass without fail. Oh, bless her. But do you believe? I believe this mission will save both lives and souls, yes. Indeed. God works in mysterious ways. Centuries ago, we brought civilization, commerce, and God to Africa. We dragged them into the 20th century. In chains. Zip it. Now, at the dawn of a new century, Africa needs our help more than ever. And here stand representatives of four great nations committed to doing just that. France. Belgium. America. And Great Britain. While it is regrettable that force is necessary to achieve our goals, the people of Africa want God in their lives. Sometimes you gotta kick a little butt. In the name of Jesus. And this ebony blade shall grant them their wish. You pray while we steal. It always works. Shut up! Whose side are you on? I'm a professional, not a zealot. <laughs> I am aware that many of you are fighting for different reasons. Some of you may be here for glory, wealth, revenge. But whatever your reason, know that the hand of God guides us all in this holy crusade. Save you. But I'm broken. We can hear you. See? You are safe with us. Is there anything else we can do for you? Anything. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness? Yes. What is it? It's an emergency. Amandla! Stand down, Wakabi. What's going on? There's a bogey coming our way. And it's doing a steady 42 miles per hour. It ran through an electrical fence. Didn't slow him down. Juggernaut. It ran through our minefield. At his current rate, he'll be hitting populated areas. In Launch an air attack. Right away, sir. And pull up any files we have on Dragonaut. What is he doing in Africa? We've got a visual on the target. Locked and loaded. I'm being attacked by a man on a flying horse. How did a horse 
get in my airspace without me knowing. I guess he flew under the radar, sir. You've got to take him out quick. Your primary target will hit the city before we can scramble any other fighters. Incoming! Oh no. A large missile is headed straight for the Great Mound. Evacuate the mound immediately. EMS crew standing by. Get a dozen jets in the air. It looks like you were right, Princess. There was some type of subatomic ripple through the vibranium deposits. But how is that possible when... Uh-oh. It looks like our little unauthorized excursion has been discovered. Don't worry. I'll tell my brother it was all my fault. It hasn't exploded yet. Maybe it was a dud. Maybe it's not a bomb. <coughs> Is everyone all right? Uh, I can't move, Princess. I'm pinned. <coughs> you take this cloth, you put it over your nose and mouth, and I will be right back. I can't believe this. I'm hit. I'm going down. This is Captain O'Shea confirming. A man on flying horseback just took down one of ours. Have you dropped your payload on Juggernaut? No time yet, sir. The night is going for Captain Haram. Hard time shooting straight. You're better off praying for salvation for your heathen soul. What is all that noise about? Ma'am, didn't you hear the order to evacuate? I have a kick in the... Ma'am, you're directly in the line of... I have a visual on Juggernaut, but he's in a heavily populated area. Troops and civilians. Everyone, pull away from Juggernaut. Let air support handle it. Sir, several battalions of troops are pouring in from the Ganda. Following the Juggernaut. How many fighters do we have in the air now? A dozen, with more on the way. Have three focus on Juggernaut. Pound him with missiles until he drops. Send the rest to take out the column from Niganda. And get Mbutu on the phone. What is that? A manned ship? It must be what fell. Maybe his radio still works. I'll call for help. Don't worry, I've got an edge if there's trouble. You there, sir. Are you all right? You're green. And you're dead. <laughs> no! My first kill of the day, but not the last man to die at the hands of radioactive man. I just want to thank you, Mbutu. Why? The crown weighing too heavy on your already swollen head, young king? As you know, Wakanda does not interfere with the affairs of all the government, no matter how foul they are. So we have endured the stench of your regime for far too long. We hope the people who suffered under your criminal empire would rise up and behead you. But now you have given me an excuse to do it. You're not half the man your father was, and Claw killed him. Ah!